Happy days at every game. Happy days. <laughs> Back- I was going to do this. You're going to bitch slap him. You're going to bitch slap him. <laughs> Thong slap him. Yeah. And it was Daryl in the barrel. What am I? It was in the barrel. Let's get out. We can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Okay, so we're in, we're coming down, we just come out of our motel, we'll show you that a little bit later, won't we? We will. We're about to get wet. It's not a bad little town, this little bar so far. Some beautiful old buildings here, this town hall there. Beautiful old women here too, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that goes without saying. Don't then, babe, we'll Boys go downtown. You're still town. beautiful. <laughs> yeah, at least you're beautiful. You might be old, but you're beautiful. Yeah. You do, you'll do me, babe. Yeah. We're on the search for a little bit of food. There's a hotel there, babe. Yeah. Look, Spider Hotel, guys. We don't know what that one's like, but that's the closest one to our bloody yeah. abode, isn't it, sweetie? I googled that one. That's 400 metres from our abode. Right, OK. And so we'll... another one that's not uh, 500 metres, another one that's one kilometre. Right, OK. So we've walked 400 metres? <laughs> yes. Jesus Christ. Hey, you, you, don't worry about it, guys. We'll find somewhere to eat and drink. Oh, of course. And we've already found the sleeping bit side of it, haven't we? Yeah. It's a nice little town, this one. We got a bit of a sprinkle of rain, but hey, look, give me rough adventures. We're not averse to that, are we? Oh, we live in Tasmania for goodness sake. Yeah, because uh, currently at the moment we're lost in Barra. <laughs> It's nothing unusual, though, for Kimmy Russ Adventures, is it, babe? No. Nothing unusual at all. We don't know if this pub's open or not, but we'll go and have a look, eh? They do do meals, apparently. It's got it on the door. Hours of operation, Sunday, 11.30 to 10 p.m. But it's Monday. Oh. But it's a holiday. It's, it's no. not open. <laughs> Have you been what? to the one out the road? There's one up there. We're heading up there now. <laughs> oh, that one. No, we just drove past that. How far is that one? Couple uh, <laughs> 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 of days. Couple 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 Someone's going to be fucking starving tonight. Darren, so he's led us on a dry run. No, Darren will say, who do you fuck until you go there on a public holiday? <laughs> Did he? OK, so here's the situation at the moment. We walked the wrong direction first start, and we're just hoping once we get up there, yes, there's a pub in the distance that that fucking pub's open. You know, to me, it doesn't look like there's much activity <laughs> around it. No. Does Kim want to Google it? Is it like now? Ah! <laughs> we should have done that before. It could be <laughs> a dry night for Kimmy Russ Adventures. No, I have two stubbies. Oh, yeah, we got two. I've got two stubbies. Kim's got none. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the other way around. <laughs> it's not fucking looking good. Oh, we found dear. the fucking pub. What a fucking shit hole that is. Yep. Hey? Right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yep. At the moment, you can see we're in our fucking audience. It's fucking raining. We couldn't ever get a fucking drink over the bar, the man said. No, Dining room of pokies. He was just an ignorant cunt, so we fucking left. Dining room of pokies, that's the way it is. I'll drink me fucking coke in the fridge if I have to. He was very ignorant. Uh, Don't go to that fucking pub, people. Do this. The other fucking pub's down. One's shut downtown, isn't it? And one's half fucking fell down. It turns out <laughs> it was probably the better fucking option. Yeah. Just we wouldn't have walked 1.2 kilometres. It's oh, a well. fucking true story too, folks. Yeah. Oh, well. we'll catch you down the road. We'll let you know how we went for a feed <laughs> and a fucking drink. I really don't give a fuck at this stage how much my stubbies <laughs> are going to cost. I'm just going to get some. How much do you reckon, Darren Sale? How much did he fucking pay in Darwin? You know, nah. He, he sat around and bloody sucked all day, Dinah Madness Adventures did, uh, thinking he couldn't buy grog until after four o'clock or something. Yeah. Whereas if he had went to the bowls club, he could have got grog. Yeah, yeah. That's and he it. spat the dummy, that's didn't he, it. babe? Yeah. Sucka la la. Like fucking brother, like brother. He's fucking true story, Dazza. This fella here, oh, yeah. he's like a fucking bear with a sore head, this fella. Yeah, someone's going to be like a bear of sore fucking legs. <laughs> We walked as far as what we fucking rode. Yeah, we did. Didn't we? I know. There's something wrong with that, isn't there, guys? Oh, we started on this trek 
Okay. Right, a motorcycle holler. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't see that you were all... There you go. Can you see me better now? I didn't, I didn't see that they are all covered up with water. You're in disguise, babe. Yeah. So after all that walking, we finally found some stubbies, went back to the motel and had a great night. But first, we did manage to book for tea at this hotel. It was a great little hotel and it was a superb feed. I think off and we had a steak. Okay, hey so we're about to leave. And there's great clouds looking over there, babe. Hopefully we're not going that way. We'll go down here and we'll get some petrol. See which way Henry wants to take me. Barra is located 161 kilometers north of Adelaide via the Horrocks Highway. Barra, which calls itself an historic copper town in the Merino capital of the world, is a unique township. It was declared a state heritage town in 1994 because of its wealth of outstanding historic buildings and the opportunity it offers for the visitor to understand a little of what life was like in the 19th century copper mining town. Hey guys, are we just leaving Barra? I think we might go up to the um, mine lookout, see what's up there, will we? Alright. Oh, okay, so this is the old mine here, apparently. It's a big pit. Yeah, it looks like it. Hey guys, we've just pulled up at the Barra Mine, old historic site here, so we're just going to go for a little bit of a walk up there, have a look around, aren't we, babe? Are you up for a walk today? Yep, I've yeah. just woken up. So. Jeez, walking this early in the morning, that's not good. We haven't even woken up on the friggin' bikes yet, have we, babe? We haven't even warmed the bikes up. Oh, nah, we've put fuel in them, but that's about it. I thought you would have been raring to go this early, babe. Yeah. Hey? Eh? Oh, you did the legs in yesterday. <laughs> Why did I? For that walking up to the pub and doing the service. Okay, so this is the mine site. The old ruins of it, anyway. Apparently, this mine, it was a copper mine, actually, Save South Australia from bankruptcy. This is a huge open cut copper mine, which was once so productive it ensured the town's continuing existence. The Barra mine, which operated between 1845 and 1877, was once the largest in Australia. In total, it produced 50,000 tonnes of copper and is credited with saving the young state of South Australia from bankruptcy. The site is recognised as one of the most significant mining heritage sites in Australia. That's what they say. Uh, that's your little bit of research? Well, no, that's, I just know that because I'm oh. a man of knowledge, babe. Very knowledgeable. Yeah, and no, I'm a man of knowledge. I hope I'm bloody right now I've said that, babe. Look at those little things, take me for a riding one. Yeah, if I could push you down there on it, I'd push you, babe. Look, it'd be fun. in this one. Will it move? No. You just sure? Positive, positive. Come on, yeah. Rusty, push yeah. me. <laughs> I'll push you straight off the fucking edge. Wouldn't it be fun going down the tracks like this, though? Yeah. It'd be it like is. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Hmm. Something wrong with that, girl. There you go. I can't bother reading the guys here. Go, read. Yeah, no, that's enough. You could have rode your bike down here. Could have. Yeah. Could have, would have, should have. Oh. Her ass has got a bit wider. I guess that's what she's talking about. Aqueduct Tunnel, 1870. As we go into the world. Oh, 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 watch out for snakes. Oh, I should have brought the torch. It goes a fair way in there, babe. Yeah, look. It's wide enough for the buggy. <sighs> it'd be wide enough, it'd be tall enough for you to walk through nearly. Yeah. You want to have a look? Okay. In there, babe. Don't! <laughs> I see the light. <laughs> At the end of the tunnel. Ah, Rusty's a bastard, isn't he, eh? Oh, it's full of water. So that there, guys, is the mine. I think you can see that down there, guys. Where are you? There. Look at it. Not ah. bad size mine, is it? Big swim pool. Big swim pool. I don't think I'd like go swimming in there, Pope. Got a spray of rain on my windshield. What's going on? I don't know. You're the one that looked at the <laughs> weather this morning. So this is our pub we come down to last. Well, not our pub. We had a meal at, is it, Pope? No. <laughs> no, this is a very unsociable pub. That what yeah. we thought was. 
well, the dude worked there. He was sitting there on his phone, and then he directed us out to the dining room and that without even asking what we wanted. Right, we're going to turn left here, and we'll rock and roll out of here. And hopefully, we won't get any rain on the way going across these mountains if we've got to go across them. Well, good old Google said it was only 5% chance all day. Yeah, here came his trust in Google. <laughs> Look at these beautiful rolling hills, guys. Absolutely stunning. Oh, bad, it's a bit overcast. Some sort of pipeline there, guys. Delivering water to the towns, I guess. The little one next to it, and I suppose they've upgraded it over the years, haven't they, babe? Looks like that, yep. Yep. I don't reckon that little one could keep up. Been going for a lot of bloody kilometres now, though, isn't it? Yeah. One of the nation's largest drinking water pipelines spanning across a large part of regional South Australia. The 379 kilometre pipeline built in 1940 to 44 from Morgan on the River Murray region to Wyala was an added water guarantee for South Australia. The pipe diameter varies from 750 millimetres at Morgan to 525 millimetres at Wyala. There it is. It went out under the road, babe, and popped up over the other side. Oh, there yes, it is. Yes, there it is. Tricky. And the old one's still running over there on the right. Okay, so is this Crystal Brook or what? Well, should be. Crystal Brook. So we're not a real long way from Port Perry, guys. We're about 30 k's away. And this is Crystal Brook. Established in 1947. It's a nice little old town, isn't it? Look at it. Yep. There it is. Uh, we're going to get off here and we're going to see what this little place has to offer. As in, huh, something to eat. <laughs> eat maybe, eh? Yeah, breakfast. Breakfast. Oh, there'd be a bakery or something here, wouldn't there, babe? <laughs> you wouldn't see Kimmy Russ Adventures in a bakery. <laughs> that's, that's a hideout, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my dear. Crystal Brook is located 200 kilometres north of Adelaide. It is a quiet rural service centre in the heart of some of Australia's most productive sheep and wheat country. It describes itself as a town where the Flinders Ranges begin. The charm of this quiet town lies with its shady peppercorn trees and its feeling that time has stood still. Okay, so this is the little town of Crystal Brook and it is a nice little town. We just went up the top end where I'm pointing now. You can't see because of the car, but um, we had a hot potato and it was beautiful. Biggest hot spot I've ever had. A tropical one with all the dressing. Starting to warm up beautifully here at the moment. So we're going to keep heading down to Port Piri Way. Been beautiful roads at the moment. I'll tell you what, coming through over from Barra down through, Crist to, through to Crystal Brook, then on to Port Piri. Absolutely rolling paddocks all the way through there. Agricultural area. Beautiful, wasn't it, babe? Beautiful. It's a pretty little town, nice and quiet. Hey. Need to be, be 1920 now, just about. Okay guys, so we're just coming into Port Piri, aren't we? Yep. Never ever been here before, so we would not have a clue where we're going or what we're doing. So we're just on the outskirts here at the moment, guys. There's big, big arches up there, babe. Yep. God, look at that big old museum over there on the right, babe. Yeah. The old Port Piri station or something, yeah. Port Piri is South Australia's seventh largest city. The city's economy is driven by huge silver, lead, gold, copper and zinc smelters, which process the raw ore brought from Broken Hill. Are you ready yet, madam? Yes, no, no, so It took us an hour and a half to get ready today. <laughs> yeah, it got a little bit hot, a little bit sweaty. And this is our motel for the night. And you, you might be saying, yeah, not much. It's nice. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it, yeah, baby? It's nice inside. inside. And look, the, par the bikes are parked here off the street so no one can see them. So, happy days, babe. Testing, testing. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Just take it out. Happy days. There's always one clown in there, eh? I've got to travel with it 24 fucking That's seven. me. <laughs> yes. I've got to travel with it 24 7. Yeah. Uh, so, we'll go down for a walk down here. 
Oh, we're just like we're just over the back of the main Here's street. Here's a Chinese shop, see? Yeah. To open door, turn handle. <laughs> That's a good theory, that one. <laughs> oh, fucking like this town. They tell you everything. <laughs> open door, turn handle. <laughs> good one, eh? That is funny. That's it. That's good. Yeah, yeah, good they're advice. very helpful. Very helpful, aren't they, both? Yeah. Okay, then, so Kim wants to go and spend some fucking money. Yep. Yeah, look, we've got a bottle over the oh, road here yeah. for on the way back. And Chicken Central, what's that? Oh, I don't know, what? babe. Chicken Central drive through on the takeaway. We've never had Chicken Central. We haven't. Oh, it could be on the cards for tea tonight. It's a bottle shop. Yeah, we have been guts in our well. I know you can't tell we're wearing black, aren't we? <laughs> but there's a reason why we're wearing black in there, look, babe. What's the reason why we're wearing black? Because we've been eating a lot. Oh, look, this is you, Uda. This is you, darling. Look, you're my one love, one true love. That's him. You heard that guy's one true love here? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure whether to believe that or not, but anyway. Wait till after I've had a few drinks. Yeah, that's it. Look, it is very nice though, isn't it, Bart? Look. Yeah. Did you bring a mask? Yeah. All oh, right. Oh, you're wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Sorry. Funny. Okay, we'll go. Kim keeps asking, do I want to go to the chemist now? Everybody knows sick people are in chemists. <laughs> and doctors said. We were in a chemist the other day, won't say where it is. Nope. Someone was coughing and chugging. I said, come on, Kim, let's go. Yeah. You're not. And he said. And we're out of here. I have a sore throat. Yeah. And yeah. I've got the cough and I've been at the doctor and they can't find anything wrong with me. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. she said, have you got an infection? He's. I don't know what I've got. Russell's like, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, so we're not going in no more chemists. Yeah. Unless we really, really have he to. He refuses to. Yeah, okay. I just thought I'd share that with you. It's a fucking beautiful day, isn't it, guys? Look at that. Look at the blue skies. Beautiful. Best day we've had on the road yet. Warmest. Yeah, yeah but warmest. we've had a lot of nice days. Oh, yeah, yeah the just warmest. Warmest, yes. This is a new one for me, guys. I'm not sure whether or not to go in there or not. Look at this. The Church of Fish and Chips. No church. Prayers answered. Um, I'm not real sure about that one. The Church of yeah. Fish and Chips. I'm not real sure about it, but seafood and it's salad. A fish. Yeah, well no, but who's running the bloody thing? Is God running yeah, it? Yeah, because look, your prayers are answered. Yeah, th now that's the bit that worries me. Home delivery. Ah, oh, Jesus. Seafood and salad, I can't oh. believe it. It's a church. That's oh. innovative. Yeah. Now it doesn't appeal to me, babe. Okay, this is along the port site of Port Pirie. Makes sense, don't it, babe? Port, port site. site of Port Pirie? <laughs> You're not going to see much. All the big ships must come up in here, babe, I guess. Because ah. you know how I can tell? There's a big ship right there. Oh, is there? See? There's a big yeah. ship right there. Is that big? I can't see it. Yeah. That's wow. it there. Oh, why can't the spirit come back here and pick us up? I know. Can we dial a spirit? Can we ring them? <laughs> can we dial the spirit of Taz? Yeah, it's big enough for them to come in here. Yeah, um, if that big ship can come in here. G'day, 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 guys. Okay. Another night, hey, babe, on the road. Another night and another town. We're just getting hooking into the stubbies at the moment, as you may have seen. But um, quite a nice day today. Mm -hmm. We left Barra. Now, if you've seen yesterday's video, you'll know about Barra. As we left fucking Barra, it got better. Didn't it, babe? It got better. Mm -hmm. And we're sitting in what? Bit over 22 degrees heat now? You're not old Kimmy. I'm flushed. Oh, see, she's flushed. I got sunburnt. See, so for fucking menopause, or it's fucking grog, or it's the sun. It's the sun. We can see what a rig is. A little bit of old fucking We haven't had 22 degrees in Tassie no. for such a long time. No, we're hitting 32 tomorrow, I think, babe. Oh. Or 29 or something tomorrow. Mm. Happy days at the rigging. <laughs> Happy days. The bed, the bed nearly broke. I just broke a fucking chair out the it front did. of this motor. It did. did. Then that then... sun fucking struck. I went fucking through it. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's not me putting weight on me on oh. the nose, is it, mate? It was not the, not the ass bit, but the back bit. It's wasn't the it? second chair he's broken yeah. two days. Well, we didn't we have a fun day today? Uh, I found a motel. Not a nice motel. I'll show you in a minute. No surprises. No surprises. No. It is a very nice motel though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you wouldn't think where it's situated and what it looks like outside, but it's very nice indeed. We're out the back of a Chinese shop. Looks... Saying nothing? Mm -hmm. Saying okay. nothing. But anyway, regardless of that, we went for a walk up street. Oh, Russ, you had to buy some um, more SD cards because Russ is... I think I've been filming too much. Haven't I? 
Well, and we're know. starting to run out for some reason. They'll soon know it's when you... It's never happened to me on all days before, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, they'll fucking know when I get home, mm. won't they? As long as I don't lose the footage, I've already had one SD card. I'll, I'll stop dribbling. I'll stop dribbling. Yep. We went up the street today, and we're looking for SD cards, like I was just saying. And we're, we're in there talking to the lady, Kim and I, and she's showing us some SD cards. And um, someone come up to us, didn't they, babe? Yeah, and bloody slapped me on the arm. Slap. Wasn't the arse, was it? <laughs> the arm. <laughs> My well, arm. actually, I didn't see it. No, like that. Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't know about and this. And I thought, hang on a minute, here's a fight. Yeah, the fucking bra would have come off. <laughs> no, I that was... The girls oh, would have come out. I was going to do... I was going to do this. You're going to bitch slap him. You're going to bitch slap him. Thong <laughs> slap him. <laughs> yeah, well, it never happened like no, that. No. Yeah, if some bloke, seen us walking up the street here in Port Perry, just driving past his car and said to himself, let's keep him Ross Adventures. Yep. And um, anyway, that's fine. We didn't know he's seen us. And um, he seen which shop we went in, so he pulls up in the fucking in the car park, comes running in to introduce himself. Said, "Wait till I go home and tell my wife." Yeah. And it was Daryl in the barrel. What the barrel? Daryl wasn't in the barrel. <laughs> Daryl wasn't no. in the barrel. We well, know a song. Daryl yeah, in the barrel. Yeah, it's just the way we remember yeah. his name. Yeah. yeah. So we call him Daryl in the barrel. Yeah. <laughs> and he's running home to tell his wife that he met Give Me Rats Adventures. Well, the the shirts were the dead yeah. giveaway. <laughs> yeah. Well, that confirmed the for him. Mm -hmm. When he got close to us and seen our shirts with Kimmy Russ Adventures mm -hmm. on it, say? Yeah, probably seen her tits, probably seen them out on video before, I don't know. Don't know. But, <laughs> well, he actually recognised my hair. Yeah, it's nice to be recognised like mm -hmm. that when you're out on the road because you think, you know, what you do on YouTube, it's all wor mm. well worth it, isn't it? Even if you bring a smile to one person's face. Well, it uh, makes actually, your day. it's not real fair for you because you're the one that does all the editing and the promoting and everything. And, and, the, and I'm, the, I'm the one that recognises. I'm the fucking content creator yeah. for crying. I know. They, they do know who I am, though. Yes. Anyway, enough of that dribble. We're, this is our motel room for the night in the boat. And we're in here. Single bed for Kim for when she starts farting. Yeah, yeah. that happens a lot. Yep. We're inside at the moment because have a look out there. Yeah, I'll show you out there, yeah, yeah. Mm. The fucking sun's beating down there. I'm sorry guys back in Tassie, I'm sorry. But the sun, look, it is fair beating down here. Now this is our motel complex, a nice little complex. But we're down the drive, that's just back off the main street there. Bikes, we think, are nice and safe here. Look at that, that's good, in the babe? In the babe? Oh, I can hear you saying in it, babe, but I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, they can hear you from out there. Did you say we were getting married? No. Right, we got a queen size bed there, yeah. Oh, well and good in the babe. Hey, oh, well and good. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a nice little kitchenette, nice fridge. We've got everything here, actually, because, look, we've got plates, we've got fucking knives and forks. We're yeah, all ready for Kim to bloody... Is that new? Cooks. No, that's not what new. What is that? Every time I get on the camera, she's like a naughty little kid. She starts wandering off, touching things. What is it? Put it down. What? Remember is when? Remember when we were? When we had kids. As soon as she got on the telephone, the kids would go off and get in trouble. Well, that's fucking her. Well, you keep buying things all that's the time. That's for the selfie stick. All right, charging nightmare as always. Selfie stick. In the fucking cheetah. Yeah, that's. Bye. Oh, fuck it over. I thought she left a turd in there for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me. What? Oh, you scared me. That's our shower. Oh, Rusty there, Kimmy Russ Adventures. And Kimmy with Kimmy Russ Adventures. You are very Oh, bad. I should have used that. Yeah, you oh. should have. And tomorrow is a very special day. Very, very special. Very special. Because where we go on tomorrow, you'll have to look at tomorrow night's blog. Yeah. Where we're going tomorrow, we've been wanting to go for quite a few years and do what we're going to do. Might bring a few tears. Oh, Rusty, oh, guys, rusty. I think. But anyway, very excited about tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah, always get emotional, don't I, babe? This is a big enough shower for the two yeah. of us. Get well, in you there. Go in there, babe. You go. No, you go. <laughs> you go. <laughs> yeah, no. She don't fucking trust me. Hey, right, guys, we've got to go. Getting a bit long, a bit boring. We'll, um, we'll catch you up the road tomorrow. Tune in to see where we are. What are you at, mate? Go say we... goodbye. Oh, okay, bye. See you guys. So look what old Kimmy got for, 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 for tea. Look at the size of that pizza. Hey? Look at it. She's big, isn't she, babe? Yeah, Into chips. Me, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. We might have to invite friends over tonight, mind we? <laughs>
Anyone want to come and join us? <laughs> oh, look at the size of that pizza. And that's not even the biggest one they've got, is it? No. We aren't gutsers, are we? No. No. That'll do us for two nights. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking liar. <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, because I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Because you glue all the pieces back together.